Welcome to this massive shipping container home. It is made out of six containers total. There are four 40 foot containers and two 20 foot containers. Let's now go and start the full tour. Welcome to this absolutely massive shipping container home dubbed the Woodside Container. This container is 1,600 square feet total, two stories, and is made out of four 40 foot containers and two 20 foot containers. And we're going to do a full tour today. With this bird's eye view, you can more clearly see part of those 40 foot containers that stick out in front. On the left is your dining area and on the right is one of the bedrooms. If you go to the right side of the home, I love how they kept on all of those white doors up top. It really makes for a unique design. On the opposite side of the home, we're now gonna walk past this way to the backyard. The backyard has a nice fire pit, a bunch of outdoor chairs, and plenty of firewood and fire starting supplies. You can see more into the woods and all the privacy that you have on this property. I love this view of the home. Those two containers in the middle are actually the two 20 foot containers. So definitely an interesting layout of how the owners chose to stack these containers. But that will about do it for everything on the exterior. I'm sure you all really wanna check out what's inside and all of the different rooms. So let's get a little closer. You can see into the master bedroom a little bit there on one of the top containers. Let's open up this door and it's time to explore the interior. I'll close this door behind me and the first spot that we'll check out is this laundry and countertop area. I know for a fact that this home was actually originally designed as someone's private residence, not an Airbnb. So I actually love that they have all these features here. You have your washer and dryer unit though at the end of the counter and an additional sink. So it's right near your kitchen. You have two sinks really close to each other and a lot of space to spread out your stuff. After the laundry area, we're gonna go into the modern kitchen. I love the simple black tile backsplash that runs along that main wall. If you look more towards the right, you can see a bunch of cabinets and your stainless steel fridge and freezer units. Getting closer now, you can see your dishwasher, a small kitchen sink. On the right side of the countertop, you have all of your coffee supplies. You know I'm a fan of those open concept kitchens so you can find all of your glasses, mugs, and dishes on these shelves. Last but not least, there are more appliances at the far end. Next, we'll go to your dining area seen here. You have these massive windows surrounding you on three sides. I imagine this view will look even better when all of those dead trees are grown in. The natural light here is really amazing. And you have this simple fruit decoration in the middle. Let's now start to switch gears to check out the other parts of this first floor. So we are now going to walk into the living room. From this angle, you can see into the kitchen there in the back for some perspective. We're actually in the middle of the home now, inside of the two 20-foot containers. The living room is mostly comprised of these two huge couches and your coffee table. There's also some plants near this big window. And of course, in that far corner, you have that huge TV, which is indeed a smart TV, which is fully loaded with Netflix and all of your shows. To finish up in this main area, I'm going to turn our attention to these two sitting areas found along the back wall. The first one has this cute yellow chair, a piece of art, and some plants. If you then look more to the right, I love the beautiful wood paneling found here in the middle of the room. You have this additional comfy bench that looks out towards the backyard. But that's it for everything in the main area. Let's now go and explore more of the closed off rooms on this first floor. We're gonna head to this part of the container home now by opening up this door to come into bedroom number one of two. This Airbnb can sleep up to four guests total. I think this room is best suited for the kids. You can pull out these drawers beneath the bed for some extra storage space, which is great because containers typically don't have a ton of storage. There's also three windows in this bedroom. I know what you're thinking. You can pull down curtains on all of these windows for some added privacy. There's also a little table next to the bed along with a lamp and a plant, and this corner has a closet in it. 
After this first bedroom, I'm now going to transition out to this other end of the container home. We saw this earlier in the exterior tour. We have this large outdoor deck space on the other side of the home, which can be reached via this sliding glass door from inside of the living room. It will come outside now. You have a ton of space here. It's perfect for entertaining or having a nice outdoor meal with family or friends. And you have this sweet view and actually a really big yard. This thing's pretty massive and you have have a nice outdoor table here with four chairs and a grill there at the end of your deck. Back inside now, let's head into the final room on this first floor. This will take us into the first bathroom. Of course, the key piece in this room is that huge bathtub located smack dab in the middle of the room. You also have that big window right next to the bathtub so you can take a nice warm bath and look into your backyard and just relax. Next, if I take the camera and pan more to the right to the other end of this bathroom, you have a classic sink and mirror combo, some hangers there and a towel rack on the right side, and of course your toilet. The owners also left behind a nice scented candle and some other bathroom amenities like some bath salts. You can see everything waiting for you on that tray right on top of the bathtub. This is the perfect way to cap off a day at the container. That's it for everything on the first floor, so let's head up these stairs to explore the second floor. When you first walk up, you'll see a room there on the left and a door, and there's a really cool item waiting for you in that corner. We're currently inside those top two containers. I'm now gonna walk to the left of the staircase and enter into what I have dubbed the telescope room for obvious reasons. You have this comfy couch waiting for you in this one spot, but of course the coolest feature is this huge telescope. This is a first for me. I've never come across a telescope at another Airbnb and is pointed out towards the woods and actually a golf course that is down the way. So you can peer at some golfers during the day if you'd like, but probably best used at night for the stars. There's also some operating instructions that they leave behind for you because to be honest, I had no idea how to operate this thing. Let's now venture through this door next to the staircase and this will take us into the second bathroom. It's pretty similar in size to the other bathroom that we saw downstairs, except that it has two sinks and a small shower instead of a bathtub. This is probably the master bathroom because of the two sinks. There's also a toilet next to the shower. But let's now exit and go into the final room in this container home. We're now looking at those top two containers right above the entry door. I will exit the master bathroom and will now go into the master bedroom. I love the color scheme here, the dark green paint. You also have a large queen size mattress in this room. There's also the sliding glass door here you can pull back. It'll come into your own private outdoor deck. This overlooks your fire pit area and the backyard, so definitely another nice vantage point in this container home. But back inside now, if you look into that far corner, you have another couch very similar to the other couch that we saw in the telescope room in addition to a bench. Also, I took some of these shots around sunrise. You can see the sun is peering straight into this room so you can wake up to some perfect morning light. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all very soon for another Airbnb tour.